When it comes to radioactivity or radiation, the term Bechel keeps popping up. But what does it actually mean? Bechel is a physical unit that specifies how many atomic nuclei decay in a substance in one second on average. Frequently, the so-called activity is indicated for a given quantity of a substance, for example in Bechel's per kilogram, which is then referred to as specific activity. However, there are also values in Bechel that relate to volumes or areas. But what do we need this unit for? For instance, how strong radiation sources are that are used for medical or industrial applications can be expressed in units of Bechel. Values in Bechel are also used for limits. For instance, for the permissible content of certain radioactive substances in food. By the way, did you know that the limit for cesium-137 in wild boar is 600 Bechel per kilogram? This radioactive material can be relatively easily transported by air and has a half-life of about 30 years. The Chernobyl accident in 1986 resulted in the release of radioactive material, in particular cesium-137, which reached Europe through the atmosphere. In Germany, this substance has mainly been deposited on soils in the Bavarian forest. Even today, wild boars ingest cesium from there through their food, such as mushrooms. That is why a limit has been set for this radioactive substance for wild boars. Before wild boar meat is allowed to be placed on the market, compliance with this limit will be checked. How is the activity of radioactive substance actually measured? Since you cannot see the decay of atomic nuclei and thus cannot count it, the radiation that is emitted with each decay is measured. From this, the number of decays can be deduced. Let's, for example, look at substances that emit gamma radiation during decay. This gamma radiation consists of individual gamma quanta. With a measuring instrument, often referred to as a Geiger counter, you can count the number of gamma quanta emitted in one second. Many gamma emitters generate a gamma quantum with each decay. So, the number of quanta measured per second corresponds to the activity in Bechel. Does that mean that a substance is more dangerous for humans the more Bechels it contains? No, because it's not the number of decays in Bechel that poses a threat to humans. It's the radiation generated during these decays. So it depends on how and how much of what kind of radiation enters the body. So-called alpha radiation, for instance, does not penetrate the body from the outside, but it can damage cells from inside the body. If an activity of 1,000 Bechel would be incorporated through food or inhaled into the body, this would be more dangerous than a multiple of this quantity held in one's hand. So, the activity in Bechel alone does not say anything about whether or to what extent people can be at risk. To be able to define appropriate limits in Bechel, assumptions are made about human behavior. For food limits, it is assumed that a person consumes a certain amount per year. This amount is generally significantly higher than what we actually consume. Thus, the limits are so low that the intake of radioactive material can only lead to a negligibly low radiation dose. If you would like to learn more about this topic, just watch our videos, What Actually Is Radioactivity? or Types of Radiation.